back. Um, this is actually right after the recording, so I mean, you guys, you know, I'll I'll, I'll try to upload it later, you know. Anyways, so welcome to my pack. We're playing trick or treat. Let's get right back into it. Suddenly, my flashlight reveals something. Without hesitation, I point towards there again. It's the white cat. Oh, it's the white cat. Only to realize with the surprise that is the white cat. The one from before which made that awful meow, but this time I find it lying on the ground. It, it, it appears to be fainted and is wounded. Then what should I do? Pick her up. It is best to continue with, without waking her. That cat is dangerous. It's my fault that I ended up in this place and my friends are missing. It's her fault. But even knowing that, for some strange reason, I can't help but feel sorry for her. Even if it is unnatural, it is still an animal. I then bend down to see her closer. She is unconscious, and there is a thin line of blood coming from her mouth. I'm a real idiot. I'm a real idiot. I say to myself. At the same time, I clean the blood from her mouth with a handkerchief that I had with me. Fortunately, she does. She doesn't wake up. I then close her mouth, making her appearance a little better. Making her appearance a little better. Now she seems to be perfect, peacefully sleeping. On the long side, I decide to pick her up carefully. Dang it! I was really hoping we would just stay with the cat picture. This is kind of creepy. I don't know what. I don't know what the what the powers of this cat are, but if she brought me here, maybe she can return me to my world. But with her in my arms, I decide that the best thing I can do is do is to continue walking. Two thirty one a.m. All right, let's keep on going. Again, I found myself in the dark forest, walking aimlessly, only moving forward. But it didn't seem. But it, but it didn't seem I was getting in somewhere. In my arms, I carry the cat, which sounds sleep, which so, which sounds peaceful, which sleeps peacefully. Voice, come here, come here, here, you'll be safe. I suddenly stop. It's probably easy to see the disbelief on my face at that moment. It's that voice again. I wish to myself with no one listening to me. Shortly after I found the cat, a mysterious voice appeared in my mind. It's a feminine voice, soft and gentle, as if it belongs to a princess from Terry Dale, but I can't trust it. Am I really going crazy or is this force? That doesn't seem to make any sense. I don't know, but I but I don't I don't like any of the two options. Then I feel then I, I then feel the cat move in my arms. I look down at her confused to see how she opens her red eyes suddenly. I, I become quiet at that instant. For a moment, the, the two stayed motionless, staring into the eyes of the other. Red cat, the, the eyes of the red cat are, are disturbing to me, but also there's something fascinating about them, something that attracts me. I lose myself in her eyes, as if hypnotized, until suddenly she jumps at, with the atten she jumps with the attention of scratching my face. My reflexes is pushing her at the same time. I jump back, turning my head to dodge her claws, and I should dodge her attack, but in the process, I drop my flashlight. I panicked, and act clumsily. The flashlight falls near me, lighting up a tree in the vicinity. As soon as it left my hands, I remember how dense this abnormal darkness is. I would quickly pick it up, not even thinking about thinking before taking the action. I then light the place where the cat was. Only to discover she had an archer her back, ang body angrily she feared an attack from me. Those red eyes stared at me, stared at me, shining with the, fly the light of the flashlight as there were jewels reflecting a fearsome hatred and rejection towards me. My body freezes after seeing them. I can't even think. The cat then lets out a thunderous meow, similar to the one before, but weaker. Although not any less frightening, there's no doubt that there's something wrong with that animal. It must be cursed. Everything is her fault. She must be some kind of evil spirit, a pet of the witches. I feel, I feel how panic seizes me. My heart beats quickly, begging me to do something. My mouth is dry, my forehead covers with cold sweat. What should I do? Confront the cat. I'm gonna do that. No, I should not despair. I have to calm down and think carefully about what I should do. With that in mind, I take a breath and look at her again. She expresses. Soon the expression in my eyes changed from fear to courage. I realize it is only a cat, without a doubt, a strange one. But my life is not actually in danger. That isn't the tiger staring at me, but a simple cat. Apparently, her her only powers are those weird meows. If she could kill me, she would have done already done it. So I rule out that possibility. Her work must be transporting the next victim to this area of the forest. It's too unnatural and shady. After filling my lungs with air, I slowly walk towards the cat. Her meows are, get louder every which even I step, but I don't let them scare me. Seeing that I do not turn back, she shyly takes a step back. In my mind, I smiled at the image. The prey is now the hunter. I look at her directly while dancing. Little by little, her meows become weaker, as if it was, she was losing strength. Then I, it suddenly jumps, jumps and takes her in my hands. She hardly resists at all. Then I suddenly jump and take her in my hands. Oh, okay, there we go. Not so tough now, are you? You better look at the. You better look like this. She's trembling in my hands. She looks like, so helpless. I almost feel like a villain. But I must forget she also is her fault. I'm in this way, so she brought me herself. Then if I- No, 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 don't kill her, don't kill her! 
I never kill amateurs. But if I do this, I'll just get injured. No, so what should I do? No! How dare you! You do not kill her! She is just a cat! Oh man, it is it is only logical. The magic should die along with the cat. That should be that should be my ticket back. If if I kill her here, everything would have been mm -hmm. confidence that is for the best. I try to view it in my mind, but no matter how hard I force myself to see it, in the end, I am unable to take the life of another living being. Okay, I'm a quick save real quick. Even if it is just a cursed cat serving serving a witch, I don't feel good killing her. I think I'm too nice for my own good. The so the only thing that remains to keep her with me, hoping so that sooner or later she'll allow me to escape. But nothing more to think about. I decide the best thing to do is continue with my, continue with path, the continue the path. I think. Two forty one a.m. Whew. It's been a few minutes since I captured the cat. Again, I found myself walking with her in my arms, led by the strange voice. How long am I going to have to keep walking in this forest? Apparently not enough to make me go mad, but it should co be close. Don't be afraid. Come with me. I will help you. This The voice sounds closer this time. It seems that I am going in the right direction. Oh, no, I don't I don't trust that voice. I really don't. I don't fully trust it in it, but it's the best I have. At least, at first glance, it seems a friendly voice. I am completely focused on my way when I suddenly feel something bite me. Crap, it's the cat. Ah, oh, what the heck? I shot on pain, really realizing that the cat bit my arm. Fortunately, it wasn't a dangerous bite, but it sure was painful. With my distraction, she takes the chance to jump from my arms, following two steps for me. I quickly set my, set my gaze upon her, but something on her furious, but something happens that makes me forget about my anger. Finally, the cat is covered with a bright light, so much that it repels the unnatural darkness surrounding the forest, stealing my breath. Under the light, its figure gradually changes until it... It ceases to be a cat, becomes a human figure. No, that's that's still a cat. That's still a cat. Oh wait, never mind. Oh, hello, hello. The, no longer is there a cat in front of me, but with a girl with incredible beauty. I must be really, go I must really be going crazy. She has white hair and red eyes. She seems about my age. In other circumstances, I would have asked her out without hesitation. <laughs> Just thinking about it makes me laugh to myself in my mind. Even at the edge of madness, it seems some things about me will never change. She approaches me. She approaches slowly towards me, at one step at a time, with no fear. The girl then stares into my eyes with a slightly irritated face. Her lips are moving. She seems to be saying something, but I am un unable to hear my sound. Are you trying to tell me something? I babble, still confused, with a with a face of disbelief, which surely makes me look stupid. Girl, dot 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 dot, said the girl with a really low. She says dot 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 dot. She goes dot 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 dot. What? Oh, okay. Said the girl with a with a very low voice. I do not understand what she is saying. What? I can't hear you very well. I asked her. I asked, still confused. Suddenly, the girl pouts in a bad mood. What's wrong with you? Are you deaf? Finally, I can hear her clearly. And just in time, because it seems her patience is about to end. Okay, okay. Now I heard you. I said, annoyed. All my astonishment from that just a few seconds ago appears when I see the arrogance attitude of the girl. At least now, I don't think she'll bite me. I hope. <laughs> the girl then snorts with ir irritation. What annoying guy I had to find, she says at the time she places a hand on her lips, making a pensive face. Wait, you shouldn't speak ill of someone you, ha you, you have right before you. I was quick to respond. For a moment, I feel annoyed at the thought of that. I have to teach manners to the spirit, or whatever she is. A pity. So much beauty wasted on someone so arrogant. The girl let out a snort of annoyance after hearing me. I'm sorry. It's a bad habit that I can't quit. She answered without sounding very repen repentive, repentant. Clearly a false apology. After talking, after talking, she diverts her gaze, gaze towards the surrounding as if she was bored. I see. I replied annoyed. I just met the. I just met her, and I already feel I don't like her. But anyways, that doesn't matter. I must not forget who this girl is. She was. She was a cat that started it all. Anyway, at least could you tell me where you attacked me and my friends? I asked shortly after, acting more seriously. The greetings were over. It's time to get to the important stuff. And why did you bite me? It, it bite me if I wasn't doing anything. Before I knew it, my lips were asking another question. I cannot lie. I was angry. The girl then stares at my face. She blinks with curiosity before speaking. Does it hurt? The wound? She asks innocently. Yes. I was quick to respond with more annoyance. I didn't need to say more. Of course it hurts me, silly cat. <laughs> she looks at me in silence for a few seconds, a few seconds until suddenly she approaches me without any shyness or fear. On second thought, how can a simple human such as me scare a cat, sc scare a cat that can turn into a person? Show me your wound, said the girl. She stood right next to me. Her presence makes me nervous. This girl seemed to not know what personal space is. As embarrassing as it sounds, I had never ha had a girl this close. If only it wasn't in the for in this forest. 
I don't know why, I shouldn't trust her, but strangely, something tells me that she has no bad intentions. The girl is surrounded by a calm aura, something pure unlike anything, something pure, unlike anything else in this forest. In the end, resigning, in the end, resigning myself with a sigh, I show her my arm with a bite. Immediately, the girl sets her sights on my wound. I, it will only take a moment, she says with complete confidence, then she looks up right into my eyes. Could you close your eyes? She asks with a bl blushes slightly. I'm surprised to see the embarrassed face she is, embarrassed face she has, even if just a little. Then I sigh. Then I sigh, feeling something wasn't right, but there is nothing else I can do. Okay. I said, doing as she asked. I didn't know what to expect. For a moment, I thought she would get naked or something like that. Really? Did you actually think that? But what kind of magic can work only when you have no clothes? I don't know, but my mind sure wanted to imagine that. Come on, Axel. Keep your composure. <laughs> Suddenly, I feel something warm and wet touch my wound. I immediately, immediately, I shudder. Wait, what are you doing? It's a stupid question because I knew well what she was doing. What she's looking? Is she looking at? She was licking my wound. I knew it. You idiot! Who says you can wash? Was respond was quick to respond. The cat, with her cheeks red in embarrassment and her lips still clo close to my wound, she looks adorably troubled. Don't you see that I'm trying to heal you? She then added in a bad mood. Uh, sorry. I said blushing. I thought you. I thought you would do something more extraordinary. No, I'm not sure. What the heck, dude? <laughs> if she was a girl who could transform into a cat, or a cat that could tr become a girl. Sorry to disappoint you for not being for not being extraordinary enough, murmured the girl at the same time she gives me an annoyed look, red sh red eyes shining with disgust. It is then that I realize that the pain has disappeared. With curiosity, I look at the wound, it was only discovered that there was no trace of it. For a couple of seconds, for a couple of seconds, I stay silent. Yes, something. It seems that your treatment works well. I, I finally say grateful, still look still looking at the spot. Oh, but of course, I have experienced healing myself, answered the girl, closing her eyes and inflating her chest to show her pride. Actu I actually appreciate what she did, but I, I still wonder if she really had to lick it to cure it, to cure me. I understand, but who are you? The girl makes a sm small short with curiosity after hearing my question. She then shifts her head. She still... She's then, then she tilts her, her head and closes her eyes, making a thoughtful face. It seems I have not presented myself. She opens her eyes and gazes into mine. My name is Ashley. Oh, hey, what's up, Ashley? You sound pretty chill. Not really, but, you know. So, that's her name. I expected something more extravagant. Extra, extra, extravagant. There we go. My name is Axel. By the way, have you have you ever been accused of witchcraft? Before I knew uh, before I knew it, I asked that question. I guess it was rather rude for me, completely lacking in manners. But I must not forget for a second that I I am in this cursed forest. Ashley suddenly becomes silent. In plain sight, it was obvious she didn't take it too well. And she takes her time before responding. Yes, but that was a long time ago. Then she closes her eyes and exhale, exhales hem emptiness in, in, from her lungs, I think. She's, she seemed to be aw, oh, dang it. I'm sorry, it was not my intention to make you remember it. I say slightly remorseful. No doubt it must have, to be accused of witchcraft must have been a horrible experience. Ashley closes her eyes and nods a couple of times. It's okay. It's not like I can blame you for your curiosity seeing where we are. Then she looks at, she looks at me closely with curious eyes. By the way, how do you know about me? Perhaps you are a sorcerer who, li who has lived during these past centuries. She asked me, narrowing her eyes if she, if, if she was trying to see the inside of my mind. What kind of question is that? No, nothing like that, I answered at, at the moment. I'm just an ordinary person. Person, I admitted, I admitted boringly, but she didn't need to know that. It's just that there are stories about witches in this forest, but as you can see, the stories are not very convincing, or else I wouldn't be here. I explained, trying to remove any doubt that Ashley may have. Again, she closes her eyes and nods. I understand. She pauses and looks me in, in the eyes. It's because of those stupid myths that stupid humans come to this forest just like you. She then, she then said, looking at me with rejection, Wait, what are you trying to say? We are to blame? I felt, I replied, feeling offended. Ashley suddenly looks at me, disgusted. Are you an idiot? Uh, yes. If you had to come, if you if you had to come, my existence would be nice and peaceful instead of this chaos that it is every year. She said, ending with a sigh of frustration. But you are the one who causes all this. I was quick to respond. I don't even bother to hide my anger. I can't believe what she says. How ang how arrogant can she be? Ashley opens her eyes with surprise. Then she looks at me with annoyance in her red eyes. Do you not understand, stupid human? Definitely, I don't. Definitely, I don't like this girl. I, I'm only trying to protect you. Her her words take me by takes take me by surprise. Huh? I exclaimed. In, nah, I don't know. 
You attacked me and attacked my friends only to protect us? Yes. What? She simply replied at the same time she nods full, filled with pride and confidence. Oh, that's it. I'm getting out of here. I cannot believe how arrogant and self-centered this girl is. Dude, stop it! She's actually she's really cool. Okay, she may be arrogant and self-centered. But hey! At least she's not, like, trying to kill you or anything. You know, it's like, oh man, it's really creepy. After everything she did to, to me and my friends, I can't stand her any longer. Wait! I had only taken a few steps when I heard her calling me. She sounds really worried. You don't understand the real danger you're, you're in here. I stopped in my tracks as soon as I he heard her. Real danger? I was feeling some doubts. Suddenly I shiver. It doesn't look like she's lying. Yes, I try to chase them away using illusions. Other times I hit them with my powers. And at last resort, I scare them directly as if it was as it was in your case. Ashley, Ashley confessed, blushing a little as if she felt embarrassed of, embarrassed of remembering. And why do you do that? I was confused. Something isn't right here. Ashley stares at me with her red eyes. If they continue with their curiosity, they will meet an evil entity that will take their lives. Oh, what do you what you say doesn't sound very convincing. I immediately interrupted. The only evil entity is, here is you. Oh. Oh, oh, I thought that was Ashley. Ashley shakes her head in denial. You are wrong. I'm the, I am the good one. Then she looks at her into wide with a pu she looks she said looking into my eyes with a pure innocence in her. Ha ha ha! I can only laugh at that comment. It had to be a joke. After doing all that, you say you're good. Don't laugh. I'm only trying to protect you," replied Ashley, furious while waving her arms. She then crosses her arms and gives me an unpleasant look. Do you expect me to believe that? I replied sarcastically. What she said made no sense, but somehow she seemed oddly convinced it was the truth. She was surely a bit wrong in the head. No, I, I, think I trust her. But it's true. You have to believe me. This time she sounded really worried about me. I actually feel a little sorry for her. Ashley then stays silent, looking at me with puppy eyes. However, she soon recovered her proud attitude. Attitude. If you want, hold my hand. I won't harm you. Hey, that's a that's a good advance, Axel. You just take it, since you're, you know, she suddenly says. I look carefully at her. She has a very arrogant face as if she was great on she able to touch her. You won't do anything strange, I asked distrustful after but after seeing her again, I do not think she was lying. Actually not, it's full of conf confidence. I promise you. I stare at her for a few seconds, making sure there isn't a trap. Okay, but why do you want want me to hold your hand? I asked at the same time I extended my hand. Actually opens her eyes surprised after hearing my question, she then she stares at me with annoyance. Are you stupid? Obviously to guide you out of the forest. She says and she takes my hand in one quick move. I then I then find myself being dragged by the strange girl. Well, this is the opposite, opposite way from this. Melodious mo voice comes. Voice comes. I said, looking back for a second. I felt really curious about who she was. I, I'm with this girl, Ashley. I'm with Ashley. That voice, I will not trust it. Uh, I'm gonna be like, ha, no, bye. <laughs> Legit, I don't trust that. You ignore that voice. It charms men to make them her victims. Think of it as a siren. Ashley explains in bad mood with her eyes always looking to the front. It seems she she didn't get along with whoever with whoever that person or entity was. Wouldn't she be the one who collects souls of fools? I asked without thinking. I seriously need more experience when dealing with a girl. If only I were more popular. Ashley stopped suddenly. She then turns to me showing with a, with a furious face. You idiot! I already said I'm the good one! For a moment I thought she was going to hit me on the head. Unfortunately she stopped doing so or biting again. Okay, okay. I meekly responded as if she was as if I was a scolded child. But if you eat me, I will make sure to give you the worst in indigestion in your life. You idiot! I don't eat humans," replied Ashley, ending with an arrogant snort. Eleven three ele three eleven a.m. Oh man, I don't like I don't I don't like this background. Several minutes had passed since I start uh, I started to walk hand in hand with Ashley. At the beginning, I did not trust her at all, but the more time passed, the easier it was to believe her. I hadn't noticed before how comfortable her hand is, soft and pleasant to the touch. I blush just thinking about it, even if she was a wish. She is a girl too, right? Then I sigh. Come on, Axel, composure, composure. With every step, the curse of the forest seems to weaken. The atmosphere was left oppressed every minute until, finally, I was able to forget about the unpleasant feeling. Before I noticed, the darkness had returned to normal. Feeling? Only empty. The rotten smell had also disappeared. Also had disappeared without trace. Now I could really say I was in the common and ordinary forest, even boring. But I could not. But I could not be more grateful for that. Just a little more to get out. So let's keep moving. Then I set my sights on the back of Ashley, watching her walk in silence. She's completely focused on that. On the simple thing. On the simple things, I think. I don't know. 
If you're the witch from the legend, why are you helping me? I suddenly asked, not thinking twice before. It was I was really intrigued by it. Ellie stops and Ashley stops and look and turns, looking at me with an with an angry face. Idiot! Do you, do you really think that all witches are evil? She was right. The general image of witches is not good, but it was. But it's not as if stereotypes were untruthful. <laughs> so then she closes her eyes, making an annoyed face. It's true that I I had supernatural powers, but I never used them to do harm. Ashley lowers her slide and pauses. Suddenly, she looks sad. Aw. My only sin was to be born in the time of the witch hunt. That's why I was con condemned. That explains it. I feel that I can trust her. She is good. But there's still one more question. And how did you end up becoming a cat? Ashley immediately blushes. She was so embarrassed that it was almost adorable. Almost. <laughs> well, before my execution, there was a cat watching in the distance. So I decided to transfer my soul to it. She explained, avoiding looking into my eyes. Of course, we know. Should, of course, we now share the body we, we have, like a deal. The cat will be happy as long as it is something to eat and a place to sleep. I will try to provide her with all those needs. And I'm sure she lets me stay in her body. As she talks, as she talks, she's blush, blushing, blushing shyly. I see. I think it's a fair deal. I reply with a sincere smile. The truth is, I found it a little funny. It turns out that she is a both girl and a cat. That answers some questions. Actually, close your eyes and nods a couple of times. Once she wants wants to, she'd be very cute. Too bad that happens so rarely. Yeah, she is very cute. She, uh, you know, I think she's pretty cute. Uh, not saying more. Uh, Ashley continues walking to the ex exit. This time, I stay in silence. All that remains for me is to escape from this place. Well, here we are. Ashley said a few minutes after we talked. She isn't lying. I can see the end of the forest in the distance. I had to contain my desire to scream at Troy at that moment. There must be two other humans close here. Your f close here. Your friends. Go with them and turn home. I hope that nobody else comes tonight. Ashley like said, giving me a subtle farewell. But strangely, she does not let go of my hand. She looks deep into my eyes. I made you know the gentleness that reflects on them. Ooh, does she like you? Does she like you? Ah! Can you make me a promise? She suddenly said with an honest voice. It was no joke. What is it? I asked, I asked full of curiosity. I don't know what I could do for a wish, but after helping me to escape, I think she, that she deserves me uh, that she deserves me to hear her request. End this legend. She then murmured with an air of sadness. I can't understand why she asked me to do something like this. I want you to help me to keep people away. The legend only attracts more people, as in your case. I need to I need to kill it, replacing the supernatural dangers dangers with a human danger. A human danger? So you want to scare them with ordinary dangers such as thieves or ferocious animals? A second thought. There is logic in what you ask. If you remove the element of magic and, and only leave the danger, then exploring the forest is not worth the risk. Ashley nods and looks into my eyes, blushing. I guess, exactly, she said, pleased. Okay, I'll do it. I'll do it. You can rely on me. I, I responded with determination. I wanted her to know how serious it was that it was not a promise. I would forget, and so I got out first. Thank you. Then she closes her eyes momentarily and inflates her chest with pride. You aren't as stupid as I thought. I should have expected something like that. Hey, I told you not to talk ill of someone when they're right in front of you. I complained angrily. This cat, I mean, this girl simply will never change. After seeing my, my reactions, Ashley cannot help but laugh. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's the first time I've seen her so happy. That made me blush. Ashley looked unexpectedly adorable at that moment. My heart was nervously beating as if I was with a normal girl. Suddenly, she stares at me and gets close to so close her face is less than an inch for me uh, inch for mine sorry again she demonstrates how knowing what personal space is but this time I don't know whether to be angry or thankful having her close a beautiful girl makes me very happy this is for well she said suddenly she, she then brings her lips to my cheek and gives me a tender kiss Aww. everything becomes white at that moment everything loses its color everything is gone everything everything 3.18 a.m. I'm outside of the forest. I have no idea how I made it here, but this is no illusion. I am bewildered, as if I had been sleepwalking. Axel! Axel! Suddenly you hear someone calling my name, but it's, th but it's not any strange voice. It's the voices of my friends who are looking for me. Hey! Over here! I shout without a second of hesitation, with a bit of clumsiness because of my confusion. Soon they found me and impatiently run towards me. Where are, where were you? The worrying was killing us. 
Steven said with a face that I don't remember having seen ever seen before. Four eyes ring all rubbed my forehead. Within the forest, I couldn't find the exit. Alfred was about to say something, but before that, I interrupted him. Anyways, it doesn't matter. I was just lost. The important thing is that we were all here safe. Yes, you're right. Hey, don't you feel that we are forgetting something? Alfred murmured at the same time. Laura's is right. Pensive? What does that mean? Pensive. Suddenly, a blurry image appears into my mind. It was white and bright. It was white and bright, but I can't remember any more. However, that weak memory wakes a strange feeling of nostalgia in me, as if I had lost something. What could it be? Anyways, anyway, we should go home. This has this has gone too far for a test of courage. I said with the intent, with no intention of spending one more minute in this forest. They both agree with me. With nothing else to say, we can only return home. By the way, you guys, we should wa write on that page to not go out the forest. Forget about the witches. Somebody might get lost there, and it might happen to me. It was a miracle that I came out alive with the with that beast looking around. Before knowing it, my lips move. Why did I say that? I have no idea, but something inside me inside inspired me to do so. To be honest, I have no memory of the beast I speak of. All I can remember is that it has red uh, red eyes and white fur, but nothing more. Then I remember something. I think it was a promise I made to you. Wait, to whom had I made that promise? I think about it for a moment in silence, but in the end, I can't remember a thing. No matter. All I know is that I got out, and I'll never come back here again. Aw, oh, man. Finish! Dang it! It's actually pretty short. But, um... Man, I was hoping, like, he and Ashley would be, like, you know. Huh. Extra, what is that? Oh, soundtrack. Endings. Ooh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, there's seven, not eight. Huh. All right. Well, um. This is. This is the second episode. Anyways, uh, thank you, my pack, for watching, and bye!